नमस्कार इन दिस सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू वन बाई जेड एंड इट सम प्रॉपर्टीज ओके द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टीज डब्ल्यू इक्वल वन बाई जेड इज कन्फॉर्मल एवरीवेयर एवरीवेयर इन द कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लेन एक्सेप्ट इज एडिकल जीरो बिकॉज वी हैव अ रिजल्ट एन एनालिटिक फंक्शन एफ ऑफ इज कन्फॉर्मल इफ डेरिवेटिव इज नॉट इक्वल जीरो ओके So to check the analyticity, you simply take the derivative. What is the derivative of this function one by z? If you choose this one by z as f of z, then what is f dash of z? F dash of z is nothing minus one by z square. It is clear that this derivative exists all the points except z equal zero. This derivative is valid except z equal zero, right? And it is also clear that this derivative is not equal to zero. This f dash of z is Not equal to zero if z is not equal to zero because it is minus one by something. Minus one by something is never zero. So it is clear that this function is analytic everywhere except z equal to zero and the derivative is not zero. So by this result, it is easy to say that uh, this function is conformal everywhere except z equal to zero. Okay. Okay, and uh, we know that here z and w both are complex numbers, right? Normally we take z as x plus i y. And uh, what about W? W is u plus i v, right? So we plot z in one plane, z plane, and uh, images w is in another plane that is called w plane. Then what is the relation between this u, v, x, and y? For example, consider u plus i v. We uh, substitute left side by u plus i v, and the what about the right hand side? Right hand side is one by x plus i y. Next, we have to uh, find what is the uh, Your, uh, the relation between x, y, and u and v. Okay, to find the relation, we cross multiply these two terms. So this become x plus i y is equal to one by u plus i v. Next, we have to find the real and imaginary part of right hand side by multiplying and divide by its conjugate. So the right hand side become so this is u minus i v that is a conjugate of this denominator. Then again, this become the denominator is uh, a plus b into a minus b form that is a square minus b square. So the denominator is so the denominator is u square minus i v whole square and uh, uh, i square is minus one so minus into minus plus so this is like this now we can easily find the real and imaginary real part is u by u square plus v square minus i times v by u square plus v square next we compare real part in LHS real part is x so R H S is it is u by u square plus v square and uh, The imaginary part is y in the left side. In right side, it is minus v by u square plus v square. So comparing these two, we have the real and imaginary. So this is our real and imaginary. So x is equal to in terms of u and v, that is u by u square plus v square, and y is in terms of u and v, that is minus v by u square plus v square. Okay. So this is the relation between x, y, u, and v. Okay. Next, we will discuss some. Transfer some images uh, under this transformation one by z of standard curves. First, we consider first we have to find the image of x is equal to c. What is x is equal to c? Okay, x is equal to c is nothing. They are straight lines parallel to y-axis. Okay, so we have to find the images of such straight lines under the transformation w equal to one by z. Okay, that is x equal to c is a straight line like this parallel to y-axis in a z plane. And we have to find what is the image of this straight line in W plane under this transformation. Okay, that is our problem. Okay, we have seen that for this transformation, x is equal to u by u square plus v square. So we have to find the relation between u and v when x equal to c. So you just replace this x equal x x by c. Then we have a relation between u and v. So you can easily plot the relation on u v plane. That's the procedure. Okay. So what about this expression? Okay, that means u by u square plus v square equal to z. If you cross multiply this u square plus v square and c, so this become u by c equal to u square plus v square. Then we rearrange like this: u square minus u by c plus v square equal to zero. Now this is the relation between u and v, and we have to find what is this in u we apply. Okay. Okay, we know that this is the general equation of a circle in u we apply. H K is the center, radius is R. Okay, comparing with uh, this term, what about K? Because in this expression, 
uh, this contains only one term with v so that is v square so it is clear that our k equal to 0 right in this example k equal to 0 next we have to identify h to identify h we have to equate these two terms okay or we have to compare the similar terms how if you expand this term this becomes that is u square minus 2uh plus h square okay then u square is here here also u square and the second term is minus 2uh then instead of minus 2uh here it is minus uc so what about 2uh we can compare the similar terms so 2uh is equal to u by c right so u is common you can cancel so this implies what what about our h h is equal to 1 by 2c because you can cancel these two u's clear so okay so the completing the square we have to add an h square to this term okay so this become u square minus u by c what is our h square plus 1 by 2c square right so to cancel this effect so subtract a 1 by 2c square and the remaining term is plus v square equal to 0 so just rearrange this expression like this then what about these three this is nothing u square minus 2uh plus h square so we can write this as u minus 1 by 2c all square right and uh, plus v square you can take this constant right side so this become 1 by 2c all square okay geometrically what is this in uv plane this is nothing it's a circle with the center 1 by 2c comma 0 that is somewhere here and what are the radius the radius is also 1 by 2c so this is this this distance is 1 by 2c then radius also 1 by 2c so it's a circle almost like this clear so this is the image of a straight line x equal to c under the transformation 1 by c 1 by z and one more thing and this expression is valid only when c is not equal to 0 right uh, this is valid only when c not equal to 0 suppose c equal to 0 then what happened if c equal to 0 then it is it is clear that u equal to 0 u equal to 0 if you if c equal to 0 okay if c is not equal to 0 then the, that such straight lines are transformed to circles yes so hex equal to c c not equal to 0 mapped on to circles like u minus 1 by 2 c whole square plus v square is equal to 1 by 2 c whole square okay and geometrically uh, x equal to c is a straight line parallel to y axis and we assume that c is not equal to 0 then it is mapped on to a circle like this so its center is 1 by 2 c radius also 1 by 2 c that's why circle is like this okay for example you consider uh, x equal to 2 then what is the radius yes radius is 1 by 2 into c 2 into 2 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 is 0.5 so radius is 0.5 and uh, no, sorry uh, uh, 0.25 1 by 4 is 0.25 so radius is 0.25 and radius also uh, 0.25 clear we also we have seen that x equal to 0 when c equal to 0 in that case x equal to 0 means y axis it is mapped out to u equal to 0 u equal to 0 is nothing uh, the imaginary axis in uv plane okay next we consider another example suppose x equal to 0 and y is positive this is not our uh, y axis this is nothing this is our positive y axis what is the image of positive y axis under this transformation okay x equal to 0 means what u equal to 0 so u equal to 0 it guaranteed that uh, the image lies on v axis but we have an extra condition y is positive so y is positive means this term is positive minus v by u square plus v square is positive right and what about the denominator denominator is always positive that means what numerator should positive that means minus v is also positive minus v is positive means v is negative okay so we have two conditions u equal to 0 and v is negative u equal to 0 means our points lies on v axis but we have an extra condition v is negative so what is the image image is negative imaginary axis negative imaginary axis in uv plane so this 
positive imaginary axis of z plane mapped on to negative imaginary axis in uv plane under this transformation w equal to 1 by z okay second problem find the image of 1 less than x less than 2 under w equal to 1 by z actually what is this region in z plane in z plane x equal to 1 is a straight line like this x equal to a straight line like this and uh, uh, the uh, the region between 1 and 2 that means this region then an infinite strip okay this is 1 this is 2 so we have to find image of this infinite vertical strip under this transformation okay okay we know that x equal to c if c is not equal to 0 is mapped on to circles like this okay so we have two straight lines x equal to 1 and x equal to 2 so what is the image of x equal to 1 x equal to 1 means c equal to 1 c equal to 1 means what about the circle in u e plane this is 1 by 2 into 1 that is 1 by 2 so center is at 1 by 2 that is 0.5 and what about the radius the radius is also 1 by 2 okay so the image is a circle like this center is 0 0.50 and radius is 0.5 so the circle is passing through 1 1 0 okay and next we have to find the image of the straight line x equal to 2 so we consider x equal to 2 then what about the radius of this uh, radius of image of the straight line the radius is uh, 1 by 2 c so 1 by 2 into 2 here x equal to 2 x equal c equal to 2 so 1 by 4 so radius is 1 by 4 that is 0 0.25 so center is also at 0 0.250 okay so image is like this a small circle the center is 0 0.25 radius is also 0 0.25 so it is passing through 0 0.5 okay then we have to find the region image of the region between these two so we have to find the image of this blue shaded region it's an infinite strip also we know that this transformation uh, w equal to 1 by z is conformal everywhere except z equal to 0 okay so this transformation maps this blue region the blue region means region between these two straight lines mapped on to the region between these two circles okay since it is conformal so this blue region mapped on to the blue region in between these two circles okay next problem find the image of y is equal to d uh, under the transformation 1 by z okay y equal to d means what they are straight lines uh, parallel to x axis okay so we have seen that uh, if w equal to u plus iv that is equal to 1 plus z then we can write x as like this and y is equal to like this so we can directly apply this condition y equal to d so y equal to d means minus v by u square plus v square equal to d by solving this relation uh, we have to find the image of the straight line y equal to d as similar to the previous problem we can easily simplify this expression like this uh, minus v by d is equal to u square plus v square just cross multiplying and comparing the terms like this u square plus v square plus v by d equal to 0 next we have to complete the square of the second term so u square plus this is nothing we can add 1 by 2d whole square then we subtract the same term and uh, then these three terms together this become v plus 1 by 2d whole square is equal to you can take this right, right side right hand side so 1 by 2d whole square so this is nothing it's again a circle okay so so y equal to d mapped on to uh, this circle okay again provided d not equal to 0 if d equal to 0 what happened v equal to 0 v equal to 0 means u axis okay so yes so y equal to d is mapped on to circles like this then what is the geometry y equal to d means it's parallel to x axis then it's a straight line what is the center of the straight line uh, what is the center of the circle the standard form of circle is u minus h whole square plus v minus k whole square equal to r square so what is h yes here here h equal to 0 and what about k compare the standard form yes this is v minus minus 1 by d square so k is nothing minus 1 by 2d right and radius is of course 1 by 2d so you can plot the circle this is the circle if d is positive in this expression d is positive if d is positive what happened then k is negative minus 1 by 2d 
So the center is somewhere here, minus 1 by 2D, uh, 0 minus 1 by 2D. And radius is also same as 1 by 2D. Okay, radius is also 1 by 2D. So circle is like this. Suppose D is negative. Suppose D is negative. Then Y equal to D is like this. Then what about the center of uh, image of this image 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 of the straight line because if d is negative then what happened this minus 1 by 2d is positive so the center is in positive v axis so circle is like this okay so these are the images of y equal to d under the transformation 1 by z okay similar to the previous problem you can easily verify that the case y equal to 0 and x is positive y is equal to 0 and x is positive means this region the positive real axis in z plane it is mapped on to positive real axis in the w plane okay you can easily verify next problem find the image of the circle mod z equal to r under the transformation 1 by z okay so solving this problem we consider uh, in polar form so what is the general polar form of a complex number z is equal to r e raised to pi theta right and our transformation is nothing w equal to 1 by z so this become 1 by r e raised to pi theta this is equal to 1 by r e raised to minus i theta so if our uh, Im our uh, domain is r e raised to i theta form then image is 1 by r e raised to minus i theta then what is this w equal to 1 by r e raised to minus i theta in uv plane or w plane that is very easy you consider mod w what is mod w mod w equal to modulus of 1 by r e raised to minus i theta right and uh, r is radius it is positive so this will be again 1 by r into modulus of e raised to minus i theta and what is modulus of e raised to minus i theta okay e raised to minus i theta is equal to cos theta minus i sin theta so modulus of e raised to minus i sin theta is nothing square root of uh, real part square plus imaginary part square so this is cos square theta plus sin square theta that is one so square root of one is one so this term is one so this is nothing one by r so what is image image is nothing mod w equal to uh, mod w equal to one by r and geometrically what is this this is same as same as a circle clear only difference is the radius is 1 by r instead of r it is 1 by r if r is uh, greater than 1 then 1 by r is less than 1 so a circle like this is our radius 1 by r so a circle in uh, z plane mapped on to a circle in um, uh, w plane the only difference here the radius is r then here the radius is 1 by r clear and one more thing here the argument of this complex number z is equal to theta so similarly what is the argument of w that is some radius e raised to minus uh, i theta so here the argument is minus theta that means if suppose our complex number is somewhere here and this argument is theta then what about the image Im the, the image the argument of image is minus theta right so if you measure theta in anti-clockwise direction then minus theta means in clockwise direction so the point is somewhere here and this angle is minus theta and radius is different here the radius is r here the radius is 1 by r okay so this point is mapped on to actually a lower uh, lower plane point okay that is a uh, that is a point wise mapping of uh, this uh, under this transformation Okay, next problem. Show that uh, 1 by z maps every straight line or circle, whatever be straight line or circle, onto a circle or a straight line. That means straight line is either mapped onto circle or straight line, and similarly, circle is also mapped onto a circle or straight line. It's a general problem. Okay, then how to prove? Okay, we know that every straight line or a circle, straight line or a circle in z plane can be written as like this a into x square plus y square plus bx plus cy plus d equal to 0 where this a b c d are numbers okay, real numbers so this is a general form of a circle of straight line suppose a equal to 0 then what happened if uh, sorry if a equal to 0 then this term is uh, 0 so 
So expression become bx plus cy plus d equal to 0. This is nothing. This is the equation of the straight line. Okay. Suppose a is not equal to 0. Suppose uh, a is not equal to 0. Then this is nothing. This is an equation of a circle. Clear. That's why this expression represents both circle and straight line depending on the uh, values of a, b, c, d, etc. Okay. Okay, next we are going to transform uh, this equation in terms of z. So, uh, we know that uh, z equal to x plus iy, then z bar is nothing x minus iy. You just consider z into z bar, product of these two terms. So, that is nothing x plus iy into x minus iy. This is x square minus iy uh, whole square, and we know i square is minus 1. So minus into minus plus so x square plus y square equal to z into z bar so we can replace this x square plus y square in terms of z that is z into z bar similarly next we have to replace x then how to find x you simply take sum of these two that is z plus z bar the right hand side you can cancel these two so this is 2x so x is equal to z plus z bar by 2 next you have to replace y so you take the difference z minus z bar so z minus z bar equal to 2 i y right so y is equal to z minus z bar uh, by 2 y so substituting all these things in this equation so our expression is in terms of z like this a into z into z bar plus b into z plus z bar by 2 plus c e into z minus z bar by 2 i plus d equal to 0 okay next we have to apply our transformation w equal to 1 by z so what are the corresponding changes in this equation so we have to convert everything in terms of w right we have to find the image in w plane so we have to convert everything is in terms of w so w equal to 1 by z so z is nothing 1 by w so what is z bar z bar equal to 1 by w bar so this term become a into uh, 1 by w into 1 by w bar right similarly we can convert we have to convert z plus z bar by 2 in terms of w or into w bar so what about this term so the second term is z plus z bar by 2 that is equal to 1 by 2 times what is our z z is 1 by w plus z bar is 1 by w bar so take the lcm so this becomes w bar plus w by 2 times w w bar similarly you can convert uh, z minus z bar by 2 by in terms of w and w bar and substitute everything in this equation so our expression becomes like this yes a into 1 by w into w bar plus b into this term become uh, yes w bar plus w by 2 w w bar and this become w bar minus w by 2 i w w bar plus d equal to 0 okay it is clear that w w bar is common so you can uh, throw out multiply by w w bar so this expression become yes let it be equation number 1 then 1 into uh, w w bar so this expression become a plus b times w bar plus w by 2 plus this is c c into w bar minus w by 2i plus d times w w bar equal to 0 then what about okay we know that w equal to u plus iv right and w bar is nothing it is u minus iv so what is w bar plus w by 2 yes this is nothing our u and what are, what about w bar minus w by 2i that is minus v and what about w w bar are similar to the previous case so w w bar is nothing it is u square plus v square so by substituting everything in this expression so this expression becomes like this a plus b into u plus c into minus v that is minus cv plus d into u square plus v square equal to 0 okay and geometrically what about this equation in u play Okay, this is exactly same as this expression correct some constant into x square plus y square instead of that we have an arbitrary number into u square plus v square and b into x instead of this b into u and c into y instead of c into y it is minus c into v that's not a matter because c is an arbitrary number so minus c is also an arbitrary that's all okay plus a constant plus a constant so this is nothing this also represents circles and straight lines in uv plane clear so this represents a circle if d is not equal to 0 or a straight line if d equal to 0 in w plane so in general every straight line or circle is mapped onto to circle or a straight line under this transformation that's all
Okay, this is your homework. Thank you.